Hey, Chiefs Kingdom, Harrison Graham here on the Chiefs Report. Thanks to everybody who submitted their questions here for a Friday mailbag. If you didn't get your questions in, you can use hashtag Chiefs in the comments, or you can follow me on Twitter at HGrahamNFL and send me some questions over there. We'll try and answer as many as we can in the future. We'll go ahead and start with Ray here. Will Damian Williams be back next season, and do you think we need him back? They don't need him back, that's for sure. But I will say this, Damian Williams is kind of become a forgotten man, right? Like he opted out before the season started because his mom had cancer and with all the COVID stuff, he thought it'd be best to sit this year out and then come back in 2021. Remember, his contract carries over just like it does with Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, who has already said he plans on coming back. Williams is a nice player. Like, the raw numbers aren't great, but four and a half yards per carry, that's efficient. And we know he's been an excellent playoff performer the, over the past couple of uh, playoff runs for Kansas City. I like Damian Williams a lot. If you're asking me right now today... I would predict that Damian Williams will replace Le'Veon Bell and be that number two back behind Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Obviously, as soon as the Chiefs drafted CEH, he was RB1 for the foreseeable future. But with Le'Veon Bell hitting free agency after this year and him not being that impressive, quite honestly, I think you just let him walk in free agency. Damian Williams comes back for cheap is your number two running back, and you're ready to rock for the 2021 NFL season. That's what I think will happen. But what do you guys think? Do you want Damian Williams back next season? Type Y for yes, type N for no. The Chiefs could cut him to save a couple of million bucks, so that could be an option, but I would like to see him back. So get your votes in the comments. Do you want Damian Williams back? Y for yes, N for no. I say yes. Next up is Laura Ortiz. Do you think there's a possibility for us to get Julio Jones in a trade deal with Atlanta? Man, you guys love Julio uh, Jones trade ideas, and I get it. Atlanta's kind of in a weird spot. Maybe they move some guys around. Who knows what happens with Matt Ryan? They obviously got to hire a coach. Uh, I, I like Julio as a player, but A, the Chiefs are paying a lot of players a lot of money, so you'd have to dump one of your uh, high-salary contracts like a Frank Clark or something like that, and B, they really need Julio Jones, like, uh, he, great player, Hall of Famer, all that stuff, but you got Tyreek Hill, you got Kelsey, you got Mahomes playing quarterback, you don't need Julio Jones, I'm not interested in him, I don't want to pay a first round pick and something else uh, to get 33 year old, $22 million per year Julio Jones, one of the all time greats, not disputing his talent, but I'm not interested in him at this point. The Chiefs have uh, other needs that they need. They don't need another big-time receiver. This offense is loaded. I think they could draft a receiver because Sammy Watkins is going to be a free agent, but $22 million for uh, Julio Jones and the, tra the draft capital it's going to cost to trade for him, I just don't think it makes a whole lot of sense for Kansas City. Something that we think makes sense is you guys subscribing to the channel because A, it's 100% free, and B, we got Chiefs videos coming out almost every single day. Coverage all year long, throughout the rest of the playoff run, and on into the offseason. I tell you what, if the Chiefs make a trade like getting Julio Jones, I promise we're going to cover it here on the channel. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. Let's continue to grow this thing together. Hit that big red button and subscribe. It's 100% free. All right, Samuel's up next. Will Clyde be healthy by the divisional round? We really need him in the run game. He complements the pass game. So the latest on CEH, and uh, we'll see what his how he practices on Friday, if he practices. Limited participant on Wednesday, did not practice on Thursday. So as we're filming, uh, his status is very much up in the air. I'd put it at 50-50 at best. I don't love the idea that he practiced some on Wednesday and missed Thursday's practice, so uh, Friday's practice will be critical, obviously. And the run game just has not been solid without him. Let's just call a spade a spade. Le'Veon Bell is not a lead back at this point. Edwards Elaire offers you some balance. Now, Kansas City's not a team that needs to be a 50-50 split team. Mahomes can drop back 45, 50 times if you need him to, and you can win that way. Not a lot of quarterbacks and teams are built to do that. This team is one of those teams. But obviously, having Edwards Alaire at least gives you more of an option to run the football fairly consistently because we have not seen that with Le'Veon Bell. Quite honestly, you might see Daryl Williams get more carries than Bell if Edwards Alaire cannot go. So I hope CEH plays, but 
even if he does, he's not 100%. That much is pretty obvious at this point, so we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, game two days away, Browns versus Chiefs. Predict the score for me down in the comment section. I gave you my score prediction on Thursday. I'll stick with it. 38-28, to 28, Kansas City gets it done in a shootout. And if you want to bet on this game, get your score predictions in. But also, go to BetUS at chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. No game last week, but the Chiefs are back in action this way this week. Use that promo code Chiefs125. You can bet on the Chiefs game, or you can bet on any of the other games and be like me and make some money. How about this? I love the Packers minus seven against the Rams. Producer Brett agrees with me. I just love Rodgers at home in this type of game. Jared Goff is playing with a thumb injury. I, I don't love that matchup for L.A. I think that defense can keep it close, but I don't think they necessarily will. I like the Packers. Love the over in Ravens-Bills. 50 points, that's where I got it at. If you can get it there, I would do so. I actually like the over in this game, too. I think we have a shootout on our hands between Kansas City and Cleveland, over 57 points. And then probably my favorite one of the week, I love Bucks plus three against the Saints. I think they win that game outright. You can bet on all of those things and more at BetUS. And, of course, the matchup of the weekend, the Chiefs, the Browns. Chiefs are 10 point favorites. Browns, or the over-under of this game, is set at 57 points. Like I said, I love the over. 10 points is a little rich for me. Kansas City has not covered in a bunch of games this year, so I'm going to avoid that line there. But again, I love the over. Get going with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. Use that promo code Chiefs125 when you get signed up. Okay, we got one or two more here. Lenny the Cool, <coughs> excuse me here. Any chance Mitchell Schwartz plays in the playoffs? I won't say zero chance, but I'll say it's less than 10%. I don't think he's coming back, guys. Like, I've been telling you guys for about two months now, and I think you're starting to believe me that it just doesn't seem likely. Back injury, and the, chief, the Chiefs have said he's day-to-day -day for two months. What does that tell you? It's not getting better. <laughs> like, he's got a back problem, which means he's not going to play this year probably, and he might need off-season surgery, which is a little worrisome, not only for this year, obviously, but for his long-term career. He's 31 years old. He's on the wrong side of 30. We could tell something was wrong with him early in the year because he only played in six games and he gave up two sacks. All pro right tackles don't give up two sacks in less than six games, and that's what Mitchell Schwartz did. Something was wrong from the beginning. That back uh, has a problem. Hopefully it gets fixed, but as far as this year goes, I put it at less than 10%. I do not think Mitchell Schwartz returns at this point in the season. Now, who will play in the Super Bowl? Get your matchup predictions in. For example, Chiefs versus Packers, Chiefs versus Rams, uh, Ravens versus, uh, you know, who are the other NFC teams? Buccaneers, whoever it is, get your predictions in. Sorry, I'm so zeroed in on the Chiefs. I couldn't even remember who was in the playoffs. Who will play in Super Bowl 55? I'm going to go Chiefs-Packers at this point. I think Rodgers and Mahomes are destined to meet in the Super Bowl. Get your predictions in. Go ahead and let me know. Dario Duarte, I thought I would throw this one in here. I thought this was a good question. It's not really super pertinent to the Chiefs, but if Deshaun Watson gets traded, what team should trade for him? Obviously, the Chiefs are not going to trade for him. And the only team in the AFC West that could is maybe the Broncos, but they're probably a long shot. I think these are some teams to watch out for when it comes to Deshaun Watson. I'll throw the Bears in there, the Patriots. I think the Colts would be interesting. The New York Jets, if they want to trade the number two pick and potentially get in the race for that. And then the San Francisco 49ers. Now, keep in mind, the Texans are still the favorite to keep him. But if he were to get traded, I think one of those five teams could make a lot of sense. I'll ask you guys, uh, where will Watson play next season? I'm still going to lean the Texans. I think it depends on who they hire as their head coach. If they hire a guy Watson does not like, he might officially demand a trade, but get your predictions in. Where will he play next season? Like I said, I think it'll be with the Texans, but how about getting him to the NFC so the Chiefs don't have to worry about him for the next decade plus? Because 18 months ago, even a year ago, we were thinking, hey, Mahomes, Watson, that's going to be the, uh, the uh, rivalry of the next decade plus in the AFC. All of a sudden, it's gone haywire in Houston, and that may not lo no longer be the case. So I'd love to see him go to the NFC so the Chiefs can avoid him. But we'll see what happens. We're going to cover everything Chiefs-related all year long. So hit that big red button and subscribe. And quick reminder, follow me on Twitter, at HGramNFL. You can send me more Chiefs questions over there.